Hi guys, so I am recording in 1080p 60fps for this video. Just to show you the differences between the cameras, I could do 4K 60 in all lenses, but then I would have to do separate videos. So, uh, yeah. And I don't want, I don't, I'm just not feeling like doing separate videos. And also, hold on, let me clean off my laser autofocus. It's quite dirty. Or, or maybe it's just how the video. Am I cleaning the free X lens or the laser? I'll just clean all of them. But yeah. So I was going to show you the, oh yeah, that focus enhancer thing went away. So it was a dirty lens. But yeah. This is ultra wide, not too bad. And then, yeah, you can scan around. Also, I f I forgot to do a review on my on my. I don't want to say because it will trigger for me and for anyone who has it. But like, yeah, I don't want to say the word because it will trigger. And I don't know if you have it, so... But yeah, I'm currently focusing on it with the 3X. I can control my lights with it, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up and whisper so I don't trigger yours. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna record this with the 1X. And then as I get to... Okay, so yeah, uh... I'm gonna record this with the One X camera for now, and I'll also like let's say for example, there's no animals, but like for example, if they're wise, I could just use my Three X or my Ten X, and I could zoom in. Like this came in handy at the beach last weekend when there was a bird, and I didn't want to scare it, so I used my telephoto because if I used the main, it would it would scare them. I did get close, but not so close to where I scared them, and then I ended up scaring them in the end. But it's fine. Like, it was just a bird. And that's the 10X. I, as you can see, it's a lot darker because the aperture is a lot smaller. It's an f4.9 versus 2.4, 2.2, and 1.8. This is a 2.4, 2.2, and then a 1.8. But well, yeah, so I'm going to currently record this segment using the, I believe, maybe the free axe. Now, let's do the ultra-wide. I like the ultra-wide. Okay, it didn't pick it up, so let me try that again. So as you can see, I just changed my lights because, yeah, I got smart bulbs. And like, if you go down there, the ultra wide camera isn't the best for this. I'll use the main because it's a better quality. But yeah, if we go in there, you can see that that bulb is blue and that's LED, so. Huh, let's try focus enhancer. Nah, I'm not, I don't wanna go, I'm just, because I'm just gonna use the free X. That lamp is quite low down, so. Oh wait, I forgot the zoom in mic feature. So if I zoom in, you're currently seeing the digital zoom right now because I'm only at two X. It just doesn't have a two X optical. And now it transitions to the free X. So now you're seeing free X digital. Okay, and then the and then it goes to 10x. Oh yeah, that's dark. Let me change my lights back. So yeah, I just clicked it off, so yeah. I changed it back because the 10x has a very small aperture. But yeah, the zoom in mic it like has a circle with a fill in bar. And when I zoom in all the way, it's full. So now you pick up sound from way over there. And then if I zoom out, 
it goes way down until I switch to my ultra wide, then it's empty. So then when I go to my main lens, it has a slight bar in there. But yeah, you can't see that, so that's why I'm telling you, because it's only on my screen, it doesn't, it doesn't come across on the actual video. But, like, yeah, I can't change the resolution mid-video, but I don't really care for that, so... And, yeah, that's my flash. It's quite bright. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Okay, I clicked it off, so it's black now. So if I turn on my flash there, and then I cannot use my ultra-wide camera. My ultra-wide is not available without the flash. I mean, with the flash. So now I do have all four lenses available, but it's useless because no light. But then I can have three lenses, but no ultra-wide. So it's basically like if one of my cameras were being ripped off. Because now I don't have a complete camera setup. I don't have the ultra-wide. But I do have a wide, which is still okay-ish. I still do have access to my 3X. And then I still have access to my 10X. In low light situations, I wouldn't use the 10x. I would do, I would pinch out ever so slightly to get 9.9x, and then that's using digital zoom, cropping it in on the free x sensor. I mean, yeah, that's digital zoom, but the 10x is a small sensor. So in some situations, I would crop out ever so slightly and just use the free x camera instead of the 10x because free x has a better aperture. I'll show you what aperture is. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. Okay, nice. So yeah, I'm gonna click off and I'm gonna turn the flash off so I have access to my ultra wide. So yeah, let me show you what aperture is. So like, let's pretend there's a camera opening. The, and the lens inside the camera will be on a variable aperture lens. A 1 is a very wide aperture, and an, F, uh, and an F16 would be very small. So my, my main is an F1.8, which is pretty big. Then my ultra-wide is an F2.2. It lets a little bit less light in. Then my 3x optical is an f2.4, 10 megapixel. As you can see, you can see pretty good detail on the blanket. You can see the stitching in it. And then the 10x is an f4.9. It's all it's a lot smaller than most of them. Uh, so yeah, um, right now it looks okay. Let's compare it. Okay, 3x, 10x don't look too different, but on the wall it's really apparent. But yeah, uh, 10x optical, not too bad. And then I can go digitally up to 20 times. And yeah, you can see most detail. It's kind of blurry at that. So I'm going to zoom out a bit to like 11. Okay, no, let's do just optical zoom. Okay, so let's do 3x. Let's just use the 3x camera and then... Oh yeah, the 10x camera has a very short, a longer focal distance. So I'm just cropping out using the 3x camera. And then I can just use the 10x optical, but then it will be blurry. Now it's okay. So yeah. I'm just going to use my main lens. But yeah, uh, this is just a quick blog slash camera tutorial. I don't know what to call it, but in video, it's like when you're recording, it's a pretty basic setup. But before you record, you have a lot of options, like resolution. But yeah, like, I'm amazed. Like, like my old phone had one camera one camera like come on like i have like four buttons next to the stop button all i have to do is punch it and bam 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 switching lenses on the fly let's say i'm gonna go on a jog i'm not actually gonna run but let's say i'm gonna jog i'm gonna use the i'm gonna switch to the ultra wide and bam i'm jogging
And then if I want to zoom in on a bird standing somewhere, bam, 10x. You can see that light switch quite nicely. I'm going to back away because, yeah. I, I will turn on the flash to make it brighter. But yeah, you can see the switch. And, and then if I just punch out like that, the 3x switch is on. And it's a bit better quality with the 3x. Yeah, as you can see, the lower aperture makes it kind of blurry. Just punch out. So yeah, I'm using the free X with digital zoom. But yeah. In some cases, the digital zoom sometimes looks better than the optical because the optical has a smaller aperture. But yeah, I like this setup. You know, like, I can just punch for lenses on the fly. Like, I can just tap it. And bam, switching lenses. All I have to do is like, Hmm, I want to switch to my 3X optical. Bam, 3X optical. And then all I have to do is, let's say, 10X optical. And I can make a nice little panning video. That looks quite smooth. And then let's say I want to have a sharper image. Since the 10X optical has a longer focal distance, just punch out, use a 3X, and then I can see better. And I can pan. This is pretty stable. Even though I'm not using Samsung's super, super steady feature, which does limit you to 1080p 30. But yeah, I'm not using the, uh, oh my god. I'm not using the super steady video. I'm using the regular mode because Super Steady doesn't let you use the tellies. It only lets you use the wide and ultra wide. And I don't know if you can switch mid video because in my mode that I'm using now, I can just switch on the fly. I don't have to stop or anything. Just switch on the fly. But yeah, peace out. You know, just doing a quick camera tutorial. Like, yeah, I could probably zoom in quite nicely on that, that mirror. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. I kind of like it, so yeah, I'm gonna just edit it out.